Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. and in this video I wanted to look at the new night vision scope that we've been given in 1.14, the NVPVS4 or the Starlight Scope, uh, the NATO one that fits guns with uh, the NATO type rail on. Uh, I'm on my local uh, 114 experimental server to, to do this sort of stuff um, and the in real life the AN PVS4, an American night vision scope. I think it was it's referred to in the wiki entry as a first generation night vision scope. And, and there she is. And I just wanted to do the video because this scope fits probably some more guns than you would you would expect. So here I've got it on the M4A1, you know, as you would expect. And if we if we look through, it looks really I, I love the view through this gun. It looks really, really, really nice does get very blown out by um, hot stuff though uh, and um, light um, uh, torches and uh, things like that so if somebody's wearing a head torch or they've got a hand torch or something you, you do get a lot of bloom from it but it looks very very good if there's no battery in it you just get a blank screen as well um, but it's um It's uh, very, very nice indeed. Now, so apart from the glorious M1, which you would ex the M4, which you'd expect it to um, fit, if we look in this barrel, these are the other guns that the that it fits as well. So, as you would expect, I would guess the uh, the Pioneer Scout Rifle. Very nice. Um, as you might expect, the LA or the FAL. Um, maybe you'd expect it on the, uh, here we go, Oop, if I'm putting my hands, on the SVAL. Let me zombies coming in. But it also fits on the uh, on the USG forty five or the ump, I guess it is. And The SG5K or the MP5K. So there we go. Um, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Look how huge it is on the SG5K. You can just about see that. It's absolutely massive. And I guess because all of these guns have got rails on. If there's any more that it will fit... I don't know, but these are the ones that I could think of that that would have rails on, and I fit them. Obviously, really, it's it works very very well on things like the um, uh, M4. Um, I particularly, I mean, on the Pioneer uh, Scout rifle as a sniper. I mean, this is very very dangerous indeed. This isn't it? Is it jammed? Is it? Oh, no. I mean, you can imagine people camping in Northwest Airfield or, or Tizzy with this thing, can't you? And they've got a very, very nice weapon as well. But, I mean, it is really good that we've got an extra night vision scope available in the game um, for things like the submachine guns, I guess, you know, and the LA and the, um, the S. I mean, maybe the S Val with its integrated suppressor, you know, whoo, um, it gives us something else. However, the one thing I would say is that on the. Um, 114 experimental servers at the moment the only place where you can get this scope is um, in the contaminated area so on Chernerus that's the uh, big shipwreck on the northeast coast that's it you can't get anywhere else um, now we'll have to see when we go to um, public release for 114 or if you're w watching this you know after the case 
whether um, they they put it so uh, in other places. I think they will. Well, look at that. That looks amazing. Um, but remember, if you're running a private server, if you're running a you know a private community server, you can put as many of these on the server as you would like, and people can play around with this um, fantastic night vision scope. In fact, I'm already thinking about you know for my servers about having some night PV. Um, well, I guess PVE against zombies uh, events or even PVP events because this is a really nice scope to look through um, and uh, makes it makes the game look a bit like Call of Duty, doesn't it? Or Battlefield. Anyway, there we go. So the guns that you can fit the new Starlight scope on. We've got the M4. We've got the Pioneer. We've got the S Fal. We've got the uh, we've got the La or the the Fal. We've got the USG 45 or the Ump 45. And we've got the SG5K or the uh, the MP5. That's pretty cool, I think. Anyway, there we go. So that's enough from me. Um, what do you think? Put your questions and comments down below. Are you looking forward to using the scope? Um, and uh, well, I'll uh, I'll see you again soon.